C3 Portal Tutorial In this tutorial video, we will show you how to use C3 Portal in three main situations Shoot, Prepare, and Edit But before we go into the details, let's talk about sign-in for C3 Portal and initial settings To begin with, let's set up your Sony Professional ID for this service Please ask your administrator to register you as a C3 Portal user. After they have registered your account, you will receive an email from Sony Professionals ID service. Click the Activate My Account button in the email. Then, on the page that pops up, enter a password and password reset question. Once you've completed all the forms, go ahead and close the page. Next, head to the C3 Portal site through Google Chrome. Enter your activated user ID and password to sign in. If you see this page, you have successfully signed in. In this section, we'll show you how to connect your mobile device to our cloud service. First, download the C3 Portal app to your mobile device. Once installation is complete, start the app. Enter your ID and password then tap Log In. If you're sent to the Select Group screen, then you've successfully logged in. The final step in the initial setup is to connect your mobile device to your Sony's camera. First, turn on your camera and open the menu screen. Go to Proxy Rec in the Camera menu, and then select Setting in the Proxy Rec menu. If it's set to Off, change it to On. Now let's move to the File Transfer settings in the Camera menu. Go ahead and select the File Transfer menu. Then select Auto Upload Proxy from the menu and choose On. Next, let's run through connecting your mobile device to your camera using a USB cable. Tap the camera icon in the top right hand corner of the screen, select Camera, then tap OK. If you already have a registered camera, you'll see it listed here, and you can connect instantly by tapping the name of the camera. If you can't see your registered camera, or if you wish to register a new camera, tap the plus symbol in the upper right-hand corner. Select the option to scan QR code of camera and connect, then tap next. You're now ready to scan the QR code of your camera. Please set FTP manually if your camera doesn't support the QR code function. If the hotspot and tethering menu appeared while you were trying to scan the QR code, enable USB tethering to proceed. Let's go back to the camera settings for QR scanning. Go to Setup for Mobile app in the camera menu. Select Setup. You will see a QR code appear on the camera monitor. Take your mobile device and scan this QR code. When the scan is complete, you'll see this dialog box. Now, if you look at the clip list in the C3 Portal app, you will see that the camera icon in the upper right-hand corner is now green to show that your mobile device and camera are connected. With all of these steps completed, any clip recorded by the camera will automatically transfer to the C3 Portal app. Now that you've completed the initial setup, you're ready to enjoy C3 Portal. By connecting your camera to the cloud, anyone involved in your production can link up and instantly collaborate. Improve your workflows, enhance your creative productions, and explore our gateway service. C3 Portal.